You're listening to Wholesaling Inc. Episode number 1412. Attitude, approach, expectations. That's number one. If you have a team, if you're building a team, if you're putting together a company culture, this is what it's built off of. This is game-changing information guaranteed to raise your real estate wholesaling business with actionable steps you can take immediately to navigate the ins and outs of wholesaling and start making money today. Join us as we put our guests in the hot seat and dive deep to dissect their strategies for success to enable you to duplicate their results. You're listening to Wholesaling Inc., the only show dedicated to making you a fortune in wholesaling. Six steps to a strong mindset. Okay, this is great. All right, this is something that has stuck with me since 2007. This is uh, something that was taught to me by my coach when I was a real estate agent. His name's Mike Ferry, and he has a big organization. And uh, these are the three principles that he talks about for creating a healthy mindset. Attitude, approach, and expectation. It starts with the attitude. What's your attitude towards yourself? What's your attitude towards this business? What's your attitude towards your goals, right? What is your attitude? It all starts with that. I mean, if I'm looking at anything to bring somebody into my world, whether that be personal or professionally, attitude is number one, not even close. You can feel it. It is uh, magnetism, good, healthy attitude towards yourself first and what you can accomplish. Because I'm telling you, without a doubt, every single person watching this can be a successful real estate entrepreneur. I don't care what your background is. I don't care what your financial situation is. I don't care. But if you have the attitude that you can do this without a doubt, and listen, attitude gets thrown around. I get it. It's kind of like a word that kind of feels old school and it kind of feels played out and kind of feels tired, but it is, a, I mean, that's, that's the platform that we're building this thing off of. Do you have that Attitude. What, what is the attitude towards yourself, towards this business, to the economy, to everything going on? What is your attitude? Number two is what's your approach? Ooh, now we've got a great attitude, but do we have the skills? We have a great attitude, but are we bringing energy and enthusiasm to it? Are we watching our energy management? What is the approach that we're having every single day, right? What about our approach to build our confidence? Well, confidence comes from understanding and understanding comes from uh, building your skills, right? If you feel really confident that you can do something because you've done it over and over and over and over again, all of a sudden it becomes second nature. You're not even thinking about it. You're in flow state. Approach. Next is expectations. What's your expectations for your growth, for building your wealth? What's your expectations of what are you going to do today? What's your expectations from today for today? For real, what is your expectations? Is your expectations that you're gonna find somebody today that absolutely needs you in their life to solve their problem with their real estate? Expectations. We find what we're looking for. That's how this world works. So what are your expectations? Attitude, approach, expectations. That's number one. If you have a team, if you're building a team, if you're putting together a company culture, this is what it's built off of. Attitude, approach, expectations. Huge. All right. Next. This is incredible because this is what I think really plays into uh, a lot of our mindset issues that we have. This is me personally as well. This isn't me like, oh, this is you. you." No, no, no. Like, what are you focusing on? Because what you focus on expands. So are you obsessed? Are you learning everything that you can about being a successful entrepreneur? Are you focusing and being positive about when you see somebody else succeeding or are you naturally negative? Are you naturally a little salty? You naturally a little bit, hey, wait a second. That person's not as good as I am. Why don't I have those nice things, right? What you focus on expands. So are you going to focus on positive or negative? Very simple. You got to really, really watch. What are you putting into your brain? What are you watching at night? Are you watching succession? And thinking that business is cutthroat and everybody is out to get you? Or are you watching documentaries on successful people that do incredible things with the money that they make? It just depends, right? What you focus on expands. Next, I love this. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Have you ever heard that? I've said it a couple of times on this show, but idle hands are the devil's tools. We do the stupidest things when we're bored. We have the dumbest ideas when we're bored. 
When we don't have something that we can proactively go out and do, or when we think that we're too smart to do the things that actually work, like picking up the phone and being proactive, like going to a door and having a conversation, like be going to a, uh, a meetup, a real estate meetup and building a squad, right? Idle hands do the double work. That's when we start getting into all sorts of different weird stuff. Or then we just slip into entertainment world. Well, we're not in that phase. There's phases in life. There's seasons in life. There's a season of hustle. There's a season of being super hungry. There's a season of going out there after our ambitions and letting that be the wind behind our sails that's pushing us forward and building our momentum. But if we're just like, ah, you know what? I'm going to put some, I'm going to let this creative avoidance sneak in. I'm going to work on some things that aren't really income producing, but I feel like I'm a good business person because I'm doing these things. Or we stay in education loop where we learn and we learn and we learn and we learn and we never talk to people. We never go out there and proactively put ourselves into their lives, right? Idle hands, really watch it. What's going on throughout your day? We have 24 hours. We have 168 hours in a week, but we're only guaranteed today. So what are we doing in the times that we can be productive? And are we being as productive as possible? And I'm not saying you have to be, you know, redlining all the time during this season of hustle, not at all. But you would be surprised with two, three hours of being super, super focused and proactive will do if you consistently do it all the time. All right. Next is this, this exercise. Matt, will you pop, pop this up? This is on in TTP Insider. Guys, you could, you could get it from TTP Insider. And this is, a, this is a really excellent exercise on really understanding why you want to be a successful real estate entrepreneur, why you want to build wealth, why you want to get rejected so many times by being proactive, why you want to go through the ups and downs and help people out that are in really rough situations and their emotions are really high. So you ask yourself seven times, why do I want to be successful in this? Because there's surface level. Well, I want to make money. Well, why do you want to make money? Because I never had any money and I know what that feels like. Okay, well, why don't you want to feel like that? And then it goes down and down and down. And then you get down to the root core of why you actually want to do this. It's a phenomenal exercise that I put all of my TTP coaching students through. Because it really goes down to, okay, what's the focus here? Because when you're getting wiggly out there, when you're like, you know, inconsistent or your mindset's not really there, or you're kind of like, mm, you know, I don't know how much I want to put in today, or there's other things that I want to do that are, that are more fun and everybody else over there is having fun and I'm over here, you know, on the phones or I'm over here responding to text messages or going on appointments or whatever else, right? You get back to why you're doing it. And it's not a lot. I'm telling you, 20 hours a week in this business will change your life. 40 hours, you're just there twice as fast. We got 168 in the whole week. So why are you doing this? Go deep with it. Don't go surface level. And this exercise is really interesting for anything. Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to build a big portfolio? Why do you want to have a better marriage? Why do you want to be a better father or mother? Boom, 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 boom. All those things. It's really a powerful exercise for mindset. So you've got your why, you've got your attitude, you've got your approach, you've got your expectations. You understand that idle hands is when you, you usually do things that get you caught up where you're not really productive, right? And then who's your personal board of advisors? I've been talking about this a lot lately. Who's your personal board of advisors? If you, you are a business, that old Jay-Z quote, right? I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. You're a business. You are a business. So who's your personal board of advisors? Now pop up the, uh, the different parts of life to have somebody in. And listen, with your personal board of advisors, you can see there's personal and social, work and career, family, spiritual, financial, mind, intellect, and physical health. Who's your board of advisors here? Who's your board? And listen, this doesn't have to be somebody that literally you meet with at a table all the time. I have indirect board of advisors uh, in every single one of these things that I'm pumped about. You know, people that really go after it, people that are really inspiring, people that are really doing amazing things, the people that I listen to, the podcasts, the, the motivational stories that I listen to, the things that come in. Of course, there's real people on that board for sure. But it doesn't have to be, you know, face to face. But who's on there? 
Who's your personal board? Because that's who you become. You become the people that you squat up with. You become the people that you surround yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with really successful, healthy people that have great marriages and great lives, right? That's your personal board of, of advisors. You get to build that. That's all customized. It could be anybody. As long as there's somebody that you can either have a conversation with or get some sort of content from, that's your personal board of advisors. So who are you listening to? Is it just you sitting out there by yourself making quick decisions based on your experience? Your experience is dog shit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't because you want to be something else. What is the lifestyle that you want? If you're staying into it and you're staying selfish with it and, oh, this is, all, this is the only experience that I've ever had, then you can't branch out for growth, right? And then the last one is the strangest secret, Earl Nightingale, right? The strangest secret is you become what you think about. And that's why we did the first five. Because the first five is supposed to build up that bulletproof mindset. Because when you have that bulletproof mindset, then you're positive. You have an incredible attitude. You have incredible enthusiasm. You're building your skills every single day. You see growth. You see curiosity. You see all of these things. You see motivation, which is all, all motivation is, is imagination. All of these things start growing and growing and growing and growing. And then all of a sudden you wonder, how do you become a millionaire? This is how you become successful in whatever you want to do whatever goal it is, but it starts here. If this isn't right, then you're just starting and stopping all the time, or worse yet, you build it up and then lose it all, right? The mindset, the strangest thing, we become what we think about all the time. So if you have a pen and paper, I wanna do a little exercise for you, because this is great. This is all cerebral, this is all rah-rah, this is pump up, this is uh, good things to put into our brain, right? But let's, let's get tactical here a little bit. What does it cost you to live? What does it cost you on a monthly basis to live? Because let me explain something to you. 95% of people break even. That's where they want to be. 95%. Look at the stats on how much are in savings in the average American. The most wealthy country, how much people have in savings. And it's not because there's not abundance. It's because of this. So let's take a look at this. And, and, and I'm going to challenge you here. All right, cost of living, your life sells here, okay? Put that in. What is it, 2,000, 1,500, 10,000, 20,000, 7,500? What does it cost you, honestly? Your, your, your kids, your, your mortgage, your rent, your car, your food, your, not like entertainment and stuff, but just like, what does it cost you to actually live? And then next, what is your current income? What are you making? What are you, tr- what are you bringing in right now, right? And this is everything. This is your job. This is child support, alimony, dividends, investments, cash flow from rentals, whatever it is. What is your total income per month? And then what's your net worth goal? What do you want as your net worth goal? And this is very interesting because this is a whole different thing because net worth is you thinking about the future, not about right now, right? Who do you have to take care of? Who's getting old in your family? Who needs special care? Do you have special needs? People that have special needs in your family? Do you have older parents that are getting older that need some help? Do you have a huge heart for charity? Do you, have a, do you just want to grow it as big as possible so that you can pass it down to your children and all of those and, and really change their financial future, give them a, a better footing for them to get started? It's crazy, right? It all boils into this. It all boils in. But we're in the tornado every single day. We're just trying to get past today. We're just trying to put in today. We're just trying to bring in enough income for today. But net worth is about the future because it's coming. It's coming. How do you want that to be? What do you want that to be? And then go through this, right? Your current income and your cost of lifestyle, what's your break-even number? Are you positive or are you right there? Because I'll tell you this, if you're not focusing on what your net worth goal is going to be, you're going to stay like this in your business. Or you're not going to do anything because your current income is already paying for your expenses. So you know what? I can fall back on that. Life's cool. It's not going to help you with your net worth unless you're hoping on some sort of big inheritance at some point. But I'm not. I know a lot of people on here aren't. So if you put this in the forefront, if you really, really, really make this important, then all of a sudden when you start going here and you start pushing, you understand that it's going to take a long time to hit that goal. 
that you need to keep doing this over and over and over again. And this brings me to a phenomenal post that I saw the other day. I love this. This is unbelievable. 90% of success can be boiled down to consistently doing the obvious thing for an uncommonly long period of time without convincing yourself that you are smarter than you are. Woo, right? Oh, I love that. It is the absolute truth because we get that $50,000 check and we are electric. I got goosebumps literally even just saying that. I'm not joking. I have literal goosebumps just saying that. That's what happens to us. We're like, oh, yes. But then if we understand it's a drop in the bucket, then we can reset. Then tomorrow we can start back at zero. Zero leads, zero opportunities, zero money in the bank, zero net worth, all of these things. And we stay there for an uncommonly long amount of time without thinking that we're too smart to actually put in the work and we win. That's the mindset. That's the, that season of hustle. That season of hustle is that time where you're going out there and your, your skills, your voice, your personality, the sparkle in your eyes, the fire in the belly, the electricity in your feet are going out there every single day, providing value, getting income in so that you can buy assets, so that you can create a net worth that is going to help you live the lifestyle. It's going to, it's not going to help you. It's going to make you live the lifestyle that you want. So again, what is the lifestyle that you want? What's the lifestyle you want? Because it's right here. Some of us here. Most of us think it's here because all oh, the bigger houses, the better cars, the clothes, the restaurants, the trips, the everything, that's all here. But you want to live a whole life like that? It's here. So keep going. Keep pushing. Every single person can achieve the goal. No doubt about it. If you talk to enough people, distressed property owners, you will win. You will win because you are going to create yourself first, and then you're going to create a company around that, and then that company is going to do all of these things to build this up, and then you're going to build up a portfolio of assets that gets you this. That's the mindset, baby. That's what's so exciting about this business. It is pushing, 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 but idle hands are the, are the devil's tools. So what else do we have to do? So let's get out there and let's get it, especially today. Get after it today. If you're interested in joining the most proactive community in real estate investing, if you're looking, I don't care if you're trying to do your first deal, if you're if you're building consistency so you can go full time or you're looking to build this so that it runs without you someday, go to wholesalinginc.com, wholesalinginc.com, check out the Rhino Tribe, check out what it's all about, uh, check out what the mentorship is all about. If it feels good in your gut after looking at everything there and all the testimonials and the absolute best wholesalers around the country are involved in this. Uh, in this tribe. Uh, If it feels good, sign up for a call and I look forward to working with you. And that's it. As always, I sign off encouraging you to go out there and talk to people. Till next time, guys. Love you. See ya. That's all for this episode. Your next step to success is to continue the conversation over at wholesalinginc.com by joining the mailing list as well as get your chance to book a strategy session to learn the systems and become part of the tribe and work personally with one of our amazing coaches. We'll see you next episode with more ways to make you a fortune in wholesaling.